Hi, I'm Becca Lane. I'm the founder of the Little Round Schoolhouse and the creator of Storytime in the Schoolhouse. And this video is a part of a series on rhythm. So if you haven't seen the other ones yet, you can go back and check out the videos that go with this one on my blog, littleroundschoolhouse.com backslash blog. Rhythm is often talked about in early childhood settings, especially within the Waldorf community. And I made this video especially for those of you who are looking to create rhythm, to start to build a rhythm in your life, whether for the first time or you're looking to go back and recreate a new rhythm. Rhythm is important. And when I talk about rhythm, I'm talking about the flow of your day and the flow of your week. What happens in what order? What happens when you wake up in the morning? What happens after dinner every night or after lunch every day? What do you do when you get home from school or before you leave for school? How are Saturdays different than Wednesdays? This is all about our rhythm. And for many of us, we are instantly overwhelmed at this notion of creating a rhythm because we have been on the internet and seeing beautiful, Pinterest-worthy, colorful rhythm charts. And we think the thing to do is to create a rhythm for our day from when we wake up till when we go to sleep, Monday through Sunday. And then just wake up one week and just start to follow that rhythm. But often we fail when we do this. It just doesn't work for a variety of reasons. And often when that happens, we end up just tossing out the idea of rhythm or assuming that it's something that we're just not going to be able to figure out. So I hope this video is helpful to you. I'm going to give you an easy way to start creating rhythm in your life. And that starts with this notion of one small doable change. I don't want you to create a rhythm from morning till night, seven days a week. I want you just to start by thinking about one time of day, create one rhythm for your day. Yes, you may have an idea of your ideal day with your children from when they wake until when they go to bed. And I encourage you to hold that ideal close. In fact, when I work with parents through my Foundations in Simplicity parenting program, we start off by dreaming and journaling and talking about what does our ideal rhythm look like for our day, if we could magically make it all happen as we desired. So hold on to that at your core because it will guide you. But now I want you to focus on just one time of your day. And I encourage you to start with either mealtime or bedtime. Those are two very important times of day for young children, and they are great places to start building our rhythm. And I want you to focus in on just one of those times of the day and to think about a rhythm for that time of day. And then I want you to zoom in even closer and consider just one aspect of that rhythm that you can start to put into place today. Let me give you an example. If I wanted to start with my mealtime rhythm, say I have this idea in my head on what that would look like with maybe children helping me to prep food and set the table and we get the table set and we get the food out to the table and everyone comes and we sit down together, we light a candle and have a moment of silence or a blessing. And then we all stay at the table together so nicely, talking about our day, sharing what happened, and then we all clean up together, taking our dishes to the sink. And we clean up the table and then move right into our evening rhythm. Maybe that is an ideal you have for dinner. And I would encourage you not to try to put that entire rhythm into place from scratch, but zoom in to one part of it and start there. So maybe you start with just having a candle at the table that you light when everyone sits down. Maybe you say a blessing or have a moment of silence. Maybe you don't. Maybe you wait and add a spoken blessing later. But start with just the candle lighting. 
because that alone will mean that you need to have a candle, something to hold the candle, something to light it, perhaps something to snuff it. And start doing that every night at dinner. And once that becomes a habit, then let the rhythm ripple out from there. Add something else to mealtime. Maybe now you include at the end of your meal sharing um, a positive thing from your day or something you're grateful for. And then expand out from there and let your rhythm expand in these ripples. And once your mealtime rhythm seems solid, add a bedtime rhythm and let it grow from there. So again, my suggestion to you for creating a rhythm is to start small with just one change. So think about what that one change could be now. Something you could start doing consistently and predictably every dinner time or every bedtime. And then build from there. And let me know how it goes.